This is literature for 247, where literature is discussed every hour. We are sitting on that interesting non African novel titled Parts of Lucas. This is chapter 30 of Parts of Lucas. We've earlier discussed the plot summary as well as chapters 1 to 29 on this platform. So, you may request for the links to the previous videos on this novel through the comment section and it will be sent to you. You are welcome to the classroom. In the last chapter, that is chapter 29, Isabel's memories are already coming back while wrapping the Christmas gift. Let's see what happens in this chapter. Lucas hears some familiar voices in the hall, which are those of Lucy's children. He tells Lucy, he tells Lucy about the arrival of her children, who are Danny, Pam, Dwayne, and Johnny. You remember that Lucas is with his daughter in the hospital. Lucas appears to Lucy to open her eyes for the sake of her children. He feels a slight pain in his chest and is later relieved. He takes her hand and kisses it. He tells Lucy to promise to open her eyes by the time he finishes his story. He continues the story where he takes Isabel back home for the first time after her sickness. She's getting much better as she can remember her children and their beds. Remember, Isabel couldn't remember anything about her past, but gradually the memories are coming back. Luca thinks one day that it's time for her to meet her children. He seeks the consent of Dr. Jones, who advises that he should be cautious in doing that. He has that it will be too intense for her being the first time at the house. Lucas asks Isabel if he's ready to meet the children and his parents, and she agrees. He also informs the children about the visit of their mother, and they are happy. The following morning, Lucas goes to the hospital, and he meets her, he meets her gorgeously dressed in her room. Isabel expresses her mind to Lucas that she's willing to meet the family, but she feels nervous about it. Lucas responds that if it will be too challenging, she can choose to stay. Isabel replies that she's willing to do it and sees Lucas' support. Lucas promises that whenever she feels tense, she should tell her and will leave immediately. The children and Lucas' parents are awaiting the arrival of Lucas and Isabel. Lucas passes the vehicle and they, do. they look at each other. Isabel says she remembers the house and thanks Lucas for not giving up on her. He asks her if she's ready to go in as the children are probably watching them. Isabel replies with tears in her eyes that she's anxious and loves to meet her children. Lucas explains to her that if she feels it will be too much for her, she can go in and explain the situation to them that what they are after is for her to get better, that is, for Isabel to get better. Isabel repeats that she wants to do it and implores Lucas to come to her head if she's in her panic. She says she wants to get better and settle with the family. Lucas opens the door and they enter the house. Isabel looks round as she sits down. She then sees the children running towards her to embrace her. Her heartbeat increases and she's panicking. She's unable to control her emotions again, and she starts crying. Lucas and Elizabeth intervene by warding off the children from her. Lucas then gets Isabel out as quickly as possible, before the situation becomes uncontrollable. Elizabeth tries to comfort the children to let them understand the situation on ground. Lucas carries her to the vehicle as she breaks down crying. He tries to calm her down and says, the next time, be better. Isabel loses her memory again. She asks Lucas what just happened and where they are. Lucas explains everything that happened to her and says, 
they need to go back to the hospital for her to rest. Elizabeth sent us her apology when she remembers what happened. Remember, Elizabeth is just coming out of a psychotic depression. Lucas starts the engine and looks back at the children staring from the window. He doesn't like what just happened, but nobody is to be blamed. Lucas and Isabel are back in the hospital and he settles her in her room. He kisses her and tells her that he will be back in the morning. He says he will explain to the children why she left quickly. Isabel promises Lucas that she will not give up and that she will go back in a few days. Lucas also reassures her that they will soon be back as a family. Lucas tells the children when he gets home that their mom will be back soon. They just have to be patient with her. He says, their mom is also willing to recover and reunite with them soon. We have to work with them for the night. Lucas said, Lucas talks to his parents about what happened and how Isabel doesn't want to give her. He's optimistic that they will get over it soon. He kisses them goodnight and goes to his room. He bows down his head and breaks down for the day's experiences. As time goes on, Isabel is getting better. If you feel this time. A few weeks later, she tells Lucas one afternoon that she wants to go back home and settle down with her children. This surprises Lucas because, for the first time, Isabel is deciding without the input of Lucas, the doctor, or the staff. She tells Lucas again that she loves to be with her children before Christmas Day. Even if they rush at her, she will not be scared this time around. She says she wants to put up the Christmas tree with the children. She wants to see their faces while opening their Christmas gifts. Lucas is happy to hear this from Isabel that he hugs and kisses her passionately. Isabel tells him that she's getting better with the help of the doctor. He has encouraged her to try again. She says she's experiencing great changes in her body system. She concludes that she feels they can be a family again. Lucas doesn't bother to inform anybody that they are coming. He asks Isabel if she's ready before they go out of the vehicle and she responds positively. They enter the house and walk to the living room where the children and Lucas' parents are watching television. The children stand and run towards their mom. She also opens her arms to embrace them. Everybody is happy that the family is back and that Isabel can recover from the psychotic depression. She asks Lucas if she can stay overnight. Lucas then calls the hospital to tell them about Lucas' request and the hospital management approves it. The children are happy that they will stay with them till the following morning. The following morning is full of fun as Elizabeth and Isabel make pancakes while Lucas brews coffee. The children are awakened by the aroma of the pancakes and the coffee. They all gather in the kitchen for the first time in a long time for breakfast. Lucas and Isabel explain to the children that Isabel will go back to the hospital to sign her release papers and will be back before supper. Isabel assures them that they will put up the Christmas tree the next day. Lucas and Isabel leave for the hospital after breakfast. They are happy seeing the nurses for the last time. Isabel signs a release form while Lucas picks her belongings in her room. The nurses and Dr. Jones wish them the best. The doctor feels proud of her recovery and salutes the never give up spirit of Lucas as her husband. A week to Christmas, Lucas has not bought any gift for Isabel. He tells her to prepare for Christmas shopping for a gift one day. Isabel responds that the only gift she needs is being with her children and Lucas has achieved it for her. They eventually go out for the gift and he buys her a new bedroom set of her choice. It is the first brand new piece of furniture they have ever bought. The Christmas Eve party is held by Isabel a day before Christmas. After the party, Lucas and Isabel talk the children into sleep. Lucas later bids his parents good night, followed by Isabel. 
on Christmas morning, with children are happy and run down to their parents' room to greet them. They are happy that their mother is with them. Little Thomas tells his parents that Santa brought them gifts. Lucas asks if mommy's gift is also there. Thomas replies that Santa brought gifts for everyone. They all move to the living room where in Elizabeth and John joined them. Lucas read the names on the gifts while Isabel gives them out. The children are happy while opening their gifts. Lucas and Isabel are extremely happy. Likewise, all the family members of the wonderful Christmas celebration. So the family is back again. Isabel is now okay. So this is chapter 30 of part of Lucas. So if you have just joined this platform, try and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be part of this class. And whenever any video is produced, you are going to be notified. Like this video. You are free to share it on any social media platform. If you have any question or comment, you can send your question to the comment section and it will be attended to. Let me also remind you that all the videos are connected right from the plot summary through all the chapters. So just make sure you watch one to the end. The next video pops up. Thank you and God bless. Let's meet in the next chapter.